Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to give a few tips for uh, installing and managing Multi-MC on Windows. All right, on specifically Windows 10. So uh, here on MultiMC.org, which is the main site to get it, I'll leave a link in the description. That's where you download and install it. Choose the download and install section and you'll see there's a Windows uh, download here. It's 32-bit or 64-bit. It's a 32-bit application, but it'll work on either. All right, so when you get that downloaded to your disk, it'll be in your downloads folder, wherever that might be, okay? So it's a zip file. Uh, I've gone over some of this in my installation video, but you'll want to extract that. So you could just hit the extract button up here and it'll, it, it'll give you the options to extract all to your button or whatever. So you can go through and do it this way. If you have an external uh, thing which I recommend something like 7-zip then you could just say extract to the multi MC folder right there so it'll create a new folder you can get rid of the zip file now so this is the folder and this is multi MC all right and so when you open it you'll see there's a ton of files in here and maybe that could confuse new users but it's the exe that you want to use all right now first of all you're going to want to move this out of your downloads all right so you can just cut it, you know, right click on it and cut or use the key bind control X and choose cut to remove it from there. And then the place that I recommend that you put it is on the base of your C drive. All right. Now here in file explorer, you can go and see your C drive and put it in here. But I create a folder called MC apps. All right. And that that's just me you could do what you want but it's kind of best to put it on the root of your c drive that's a short path and it's an easy way to do it now i have multiple multi mcs that i run it's a portable application all right so i actually have ones for different purposes all right so like i i have a clean one that i use that i duplicate i just copy and paste it to duplicate this application to create these different versions of it so i can run each one has the multi mc exe in it i'll rename it to whatever uh, so you can do that now that's a little bit more advanced use and it's good for me when i don't do a ton of my packs making a bunch of different videos all right so that is a possible thing and one of the best features of multi mc but after you've created you know your mc apps folder or whatever you want to do uh, paste it into there and so there there would be multi MC now the main tip that I want to show you is that all of these items that are here in the folder the, all these DLLs these are dynamically linked libraries that are used for the application you can clean up this folder a lot you cannot get rid of any of this stuff it needs all this stuff okay but you can't hide them all right so select basically from icon engines all the way down holding the shift key to the multi mc application all right and then right click on it and choose properties and choose the checkbox hidden right there all right and then hit ok so it'll ask you do you want to apply changes to the selected items only which is what we want or by default it says apply changes to the selected item subfolders and files uh, we don't really want that we just want the main file at the root of that so hit ok and it'll hide all those files now do all the ones below it as well all the way to the bottom now keep in mind that as you run multi mc it'll create some new folders since this is a brand new installation again i'm checking hidden hitting ok it'll remember my setting from before all right so now it's just multi mc so it'll make some folders visible again when it writes to them and it'll show you your instances folder which you want to see it'll show you the logs so over time you'll end up closer to something like i'll look at one that i've already you know run a few times you'll end up with something closer to this so instances meta cache multi config and then the log files all right now having done that you can easily re-enable by having your ribbon shown up here at the top and going under view you can chose choose to see the hidden items and show them again 
or hide them again. So keep in mind, if you have the hidden item shown, you'll still see them. You know, that's the point. Now you could have used the button up here in the ribbon to hide the selected items and it would have worked the same as what I did before. All right. So guys, that'll clean up your multi MC folder a lot. And then generally you're going to want to create a shortcut to it and then put it somewhere. So just say create shortcut here from the menu, rename that, whatever you want, just multi MC, or if you have a particular uh, use for that one, and then just cut out that shortcut and paste it wherever you want it to be uh, on your desktop or what have you. And then you'll have a shortcut to it. But as I said, when you do it on your C drive at the root, then it has a short path to it. So you're not gonna run into any issues that will sometimes happen when you install mod packs and it says the path name is too long and all that kind of stuff. That can happen because uh, downloads folder is actually pretty deep in the file system. Uh, so you can avoid all that by running it as a root on your C drive. Anyway, that's gonna be basically it. Uh, for this particular video with just a few tips for Windows users. And I hope that's useful, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more multi-MC tutorials. And this is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.